Chin Mounts released a new product this month that I'm actually really excited about. I think it kind of covers some of the issues that we have in the motorcycle community with getting mounts to stick in the right spot. Um, with the flat mounts, I've had issues with them. On the front of my CBR, I run a flat mount. I've had multiple arms break off it. I've been lucky enough not to lose a camera, but I know there's a lot of people that have lost cameras from mounts breaking and stuff like that. The vibration really does get to them. It's pretty brittle plastic. Um, so Chin Mounts released this product. It is their flexible uh, adhesive mount. And I think it covers a lot of issues with, uh, you know, trying to stick things to curved panels and, you know, other odds and ends. Uh, I actually am a really big fan of the products. I have chin mounts on all the helmets that I have. Um, I've got them for friends. I've run this chin mount for three years on this helmet. Um, and as long as you follow their advice on how to adhere them using a heat gun, making sure that it let you let it set for 24 hours before you put weight on it, stuff like that, I've had zero issue with this. I've ridden this in 90 degree heat with GoPros on it, hard riding all day, no issues. Um, I I've, I've, haven't had any issues with these mounts at all. They're all 3D printed, custom to this. They're like 30 bucks, man. It's cheap money. For, for what you're getting and a fit, custom to the helmet you have. I think that it's a really good deal. Um, I'm not sponsored by chin mounts. I have received no money from them. I don't ever want to receive money from anybody. Um, this is just my honest opinion on them. I like chin mounts. That's why I run them. That's why I get my friends chin mounts. So with this new product, I think it's going to be awesome. I really hope that it works uh, the way I want it to. Um, if I hate it, then I'll come out and be like, wow, you know what, guys, it's kind of shit. Um, but I'm going to try it on the front of my front of my CBR to mount my 360 cam. I like mounting the 360 camera off the front, kind of like looks like a unicorn. It looks terrible, but it gets cool video and it allows me to shoot forward towards uh, if I'm riding with people or something like that. And at the same time, get myself, you know, leaning over the bike and having fun. I like shooting in 360. I think it's really cool to be like, oh, look at the front and look at the back. You know, y you can't fuck up a shot, <laughs> stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to be giving one of these away. I got a bunch of them. I ordered like five of them um, because I'm cheap and I wanted to reduce the price on them because I don't know that's how I am. Um, they're like 40 bucks a piece, which definitely is steep for a mount. I'm not going to say they're affordable. They're for a mount kind of expensive. Um, but we'll see if that, that pays off. So when you buy five of them, it dropped it down to like 20 bucks a piece. So I'm going to be giving one of these away. Um, what I need you to do is just comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I hate asking for subscribers. I think it's stupid, but it's the best way I can do a giveaway. So I, that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, comment below. And if one person comments, then that's the person that's getting it. I don't really care. I think it's cool to give shit away. So that's what I'm going to do. If two people comment, fuck, I might have give away too. Um, it's just, I don't really care. I think it's funny. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give one away and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll message you, get your address. I'm going to pay for shipping. It's going to cost you nothing and you get like a $40 mount for free. So that's my thanks for hanging out and watching. I think it's cool. So, uh, you know, if this continues to grow, I'd love to continue to give stuff away. Um, I really want to give away a helmet because I think that would be really cool. I don't know, like giving back to the community. It's kind of how I always been. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to do that. You know, if it gets to that point, then, then we're going to do it, but let's mount one of these up onto the CBR and then I'm going to give it a good, uh, test. <laughs> let's get to it. So step one is to remove the old mount. Um, I've had to do this a couple times because I've broken a few of them. And this 3M tape is a bitch to take off. It is extremely, extremely good adhesive. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I have a heat gun on a very low setting and uh, we're just gonna slowly heat that mount up to try and warm that adhesive and then pull it off. Right, so I got to pull off the top piece and now I always find it just a little bit easier to be able to pull off this adhesive at one, one shot. Yeah. 
And there we go, not too bad. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a slight curve to it. And these mounts, even though they are slightly curved, it, it's not an exact match. And I was kind of hoping that the adhesive would eat up the difference. Um, they're just not super secure. Not as secure as I want anyway. And then I tend to break these little fingers. The roads up here suck. Um, so having a, a 360 camera off that, it really leverages on these, on these little arms. And I've broken a, a, a fair bit of these while recording. So we're going to uh, go through the steps here and put the new one on. So chin mount says to make sure that these fit wherever you want to place it. And before you remove the adhesive back to put it on there, make sure that it's going to work and your mount's going to work the same. You know, these are a one shot deal. Once you stick them, they're stuck. Uh, so just make sure that it's where you want it. So I know that I want mine pretty much in the same spot. The old one was a little bit, it's going to be a little bit lower just because of the style of the mount. That's fine. It's only about a half an inch lower. So I know I want it right about there and I can, these are really flexible, which is nice. So I can feel it contouring to that front end. Now they do supply a two part, uh, wipe system. So you have one says wet wipe number one and then dry wipe number two. So we're going to go ahead, open up this uh, wet wipe and clean off all that dirt and old adhesive and whatever else is on there. Wash the whole area. Really going above and beyond the scope of where I'm going to put that mount just to make sure that there's nothing that's going to get in the way or get in there. That feels pretty good. Take the dry wipe and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over the whole area. I like to flip mine. Just get a clean side to do the last little bit just to make sure. Okay. Just that simple. All right. So now that that's all clean, we're going to go ahead, remove this backing and we're going to heat up this adhesive. So we have our mount. Uh, these are directional to a point because they have the GoPro mount built in. So make sure that, you know, you put it in whatever orientation that you want it. We want mine to go in this orientation. This way I can pitch the camera up and down depending on how I want it instead of having to pitch it side to side. Just going to give it a little test to see. Oh yeah, that's nice and sticky. Okay, pick your spot carefully. I'm using the middle of this GoPro mount and the point of my windshield to line it up. Press it on. And now it says to hold it for 60 seconds with pressure. So I'm going to try and even out the pressure as much as possible I can. And then 60 seconds. All right, 60 seconds later and we are on. Um, now we need to let that cure for 24 hours. So we won't be able to put any weight on it for 24 hours. Just let it sit and, uh, you know, cure up, make sure that adhesion's good. And then we should be good to go. So we'll fast forward 24 hours and test it out. All right. So we have the new chin mounts, flexible adhesive mount. I have it attached to my front fairing and you can see my, uh, Insta 360 one X two out there. So far, so good. I picked a particularly bumpy road around me. Not that that's really hard to find in New Hampshire, but it's got its fair shares of bumps. Let's try to uh, stress the mount out to see, you know, if it's gonna hold. Uh, I do notice that it definitely needs to be tightened down really, really hard. And in fact, I think I'd probably even scuff up the uh, the mount a little bit to give it a better purchase against the, uh, the soft, smooth plastic. because I could definitely notice that it's uh, you really got to tighten it down or else it, it likes to move. So you can see it bouncing coming towards us right now. So I kind of got to reach out there and then adjust it back. But I think if I scuffed up the plastic to give it a little bit more purchase, maybe tighten it down a little bit more, we'd be all right. Now this is a particularly rough spot to mount um, a camera. 
it is it is difficult it's rough on the mounts so that's why I wanted to uh, to try these new ones I don't expect them to break but I'm curious if the adhesive is gonna hold we'll take this road a couple of times and then go back to the house and see how it held up definitely likes to move a little bit but I think that could be remedied it also is a giant lever with a weight on it so I'm giving it the worst possible chance so we're back from our quick little test ride and our mount is still holding strong Really, that camera doesn't like that. It's actually flexing all the plastic along with it. It's not moving. I don't see any adhesive giving up. It feels quite rigid, and it's it's chilly out right now. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Um, definitely need to wrench this down tighter because right now it's still moving. I think you could also rough up the plastic. Uh, to give it a little bit more purchase and that would help but I think these are a lot better than the old style you know hard plastic mounts for any curved surface I'm, I'm pretty happy with that uh, I'm gonna keep running it and keep testing it out and if uh, if anything changes and you know I find a flaw I will uh, you know I'll post it up and, and let everybody know but uh, you know I'm sure they've done their testing and uh, it seems like a pretty good product. Uh, they are expensive, you know, they're like 40 bucks a piece for a mount, that's a lot of money. It kind of a, you know, the, the only thing that's gonna do this job right now. Um, they're, uh, they're a pretty good option in my opinion. So, that's it for this one. Oh, and uh, I bought a Ninja. So this is the official giveaway video for the flexible adhesive mount from Chin Mounts. Uh, go ahead and uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, and that'll enter you into the drawing. One person comments, then they're the one that's going to win. Make it easy. So hopefully we get a little bit more than one. But um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll message you and uh, get your shipping address and I'll ship it out to you. So uh, it's going to run for two weeks. I will be announcing the winner May 1st because that is an arbitrary date that I picked. So May 1st, I will announce the winner and I'll get this out to you just before, you know, all the really good riding weather gets here. So, uh, pretty straightforward, and yeah, good luck everybody.